Hi, this is David Davis from vmwarevideos.com, and I'm here in San Francisco at the VMware Cloud launch event. This is where vSphere 5 was launched, and I'm honored to be here with Ed from VMware. Hi. Hi, Ed. Good morning. Uh, so Ed's responsible for the VSA, which okay. was part of the vSphere 5 launch, and uh, so tell us, what's a VSA? Sure, so um, VSA is uh, basically our new product, uh, version 1.0, vSphere Storage Appliance. Okay. And it's basically a software that allows you to turn the internal storage from uh, several servers, up to three, into a shared storage resource. So I think it's going to be a very exciting product for many small and mid-sized businesses that to date uh, have not virtualized either because uh, shared storage was very complex for them or shared storage required a lot of specialized skills that they didn't have in the, uh, with, within the SMB. Okay. Uh, and it really enabled them to get the benefits of vSphere, both from a, a cost saving standpoint, but also from a high availability standpoint, as you probably know, vMotion, high availability, a lot of these cool features in vSphere require uh, some kind of shared storage uh, capability. Yeah, I mean, that was my first uh, really reason that I had to put in shared storage was mm -hmm. I wanted to use a feature like vMotion or DRS right. or, yeah. you know, VMHA and, yeah. you know, oh, all of a sudden we need a SAN, you yeah. know. So, um, and, you know, there's a lot of lower cost storage uh, hardware devices out there that, that people kind of um, use and, and get by with. Um, I mean, there's also other types of just VSAs in general uh, out there, software VSAs. But uh, what struck me as different about uh, VMware's you know, new VSA, um, to differentiate it from those other products, is th that it's spread across multiple nodes. And it, right. and it uses the local hard drives on those nodes for availability. That's right, that's exactly. So it applies RAID protection. Um, basically, it does some internal mirroring within each node. So in okay. case one of your drives fail, you can still uh, have that data. Hmm. And then also, if you're uh, operating a three-node environment, if one of those nodes go down, um, the other two nodes will actually, because it's been replicated, provide that data for your workload. So you can bring it back up online pretty quickly. Cool. So I know you can use it with as few as two physical ESX servers, right. or ESXi servers, mm -hmm. um, and then vCenter is like a cluster manager, is that right? Right, so vCenter uh, right now is our management uh, platform. Okay. Um, you would use vCenter just as you would with any other vSphere deployment, uh, except here with VSA, our vSphere storage appliance is integrated into vCenter, so you can manage directly hmm. from with, within vCenter. And that's another benefit, is you've got this storage appliance integrated into the vSphere client. Right, for, it comes up as a new tab uh, okay. within vCenter server. Okay. So it'll show you uh, the current states of all your data stores. It'll tell you the recovery status, if uh, some reco recovery activity is happening. It um, allows you to monitor how much you're using and things like that. Very cool, very cool. And I know um, VMware was also talking about the deployment process is supposed to be very easy. Yes, yes, I've I seen the there deployment. there was like a five <laughs> click deployment or some number like that. I think five, right, so I, I think it depends on the setup. Um, okay. It can be as uh, fewer than five or maybe a few more clicks than five, but overall um, it, it's very easy to set up. You put in your IP addresses uh, and then it will find the servers, find the storage and, and basically set up the environment for you. Uh, we say a minimum of two nodes because in case one fails, you always want to have that second one uh, operating. So it's up to two or three nodes uh, focused for the SMBs to allow them to get those capabilities. Yeah, yeah. Very cool. So, I mean, I like the easy deployment because I've, you know, used other VSAs. I've used like OpenFiler and stuff, which, which can work, mm -hmm. but the setup process is very laborious, you know. That's right. Um, and it's also not going to give you high availability and, you know, so it's not even supported, really, to, to use these types of features. So this is a supported option. Right. It's been tested with yeah. uh, all of, several of our key p features uh, within vSphere. So if you're an Essentials Plus customer, you'll be able to use uh, vMotion high availability to okay. restart your VMs automatically when servers fail, uh, data recovery. Okay. Um, if you have some of our higher end additions, uh, DRS, distributed resource scheduler, would also work. So oh, that okay. means if you have a really big VM that's taking up a lot of work uh, and uh, you need other VMs to move away, that will happen for you automatically even though you don't have a shared storage hardware. Yeah. And also I believe storage I.O. control uh, also works. Oh, okay. uh, and then lastly, but not least, um, storage vMotion also works, which oh. means if you're an SMB, and you have a small environment with our vSphere storage appliance, and you decide to go ahead and make that investment into shared storage hardware, mm -hmm. um, you can actually just you know, migrate that storage from um, the VSA directly onto your new array uh, without any service disrupt disruption. Hmm. 
So I'm picturing, you know, like an SMB, say they had six servers, mm -hmm. and they could have, you know, one VSA on three servers and another VSA on the other three servers, and you know, even do storage vMotion between these two virtual storage SANs. Um, now, storage vMotion, <laughs> I believe, is uh, the way we have it set up. I, I think we have to get somebody from our technical team to, okay. to answer that in okay. more detail. But what I can tell you is you can storage vMotion out from a VSA environment onto a shared storage array. Oh, okay. How that happens between two VSA clusters, I think, is something I'll That's a good, have to get yeah, back to. Good on. question. Okay. But it's NFS storage, is that right? It's NFS. It's, um, it's file-based NFS. It's That's not right. block-based iSCSI. That's right. Okay. And it's sold separately. That's right. It's a sold per instance, just okay. like vCenter server. Okay. Uh, and then. And when uh, you say per instance, that's like per storage cluster, or uh, I mean, an instance is going to be either two or three servers, so you don't have to pay per host. That's right. I, it's not per host. Okay. It's, if you're an SMB with you know, a small number of servers, you buy it once, and you can support up to two or three. Okay. Um, and. From there, you buy it just like vCenter because it's integrated within vCenter. Okay. Uh, and that goes for our list price in the U.S. will be uh, fifty nine ninety five. Okay. And we're also offering a promotion uh, with Essentials Plus, where you would get VSA for forty percent off if you buy it as part of the Essentials Plus package. Oh, very cool, very cool. So, um, I mean, some people out there, I think their initial reaction to fifty nine ninety five might be, well, hey, I could go buy a hardware storage, you know, uh, array for that, mm -hmm. um, and and that may be true, but. Uh, they're not going to get the high availability. That array might not be supported to use these features. And it's not going to be integrated with vCenter. And it's probably not going to be as easy to set up either. Well, I think the, the main effort here um, on our pricing and the way we put licenses, we, we, we really did want to simplify how customers think about buying the software. Okay. Um, you're right that. Uh, there are storage uh, devices you can add to your server, for example. Yeah. Um, but what VSA really allows you to do is completely eliminate the single point of failure um, for your workload. Right. So yeah. if you have uh, three servers running on one attached storage device, mm -hmm. and let's say it's a not one of the high-end shared storage hardware components, but something very basic. Right. Mm -hmm. If that piece of hardware goes down, you do lose all your data. Yeah. Uh, so with VSA, you're able to replicate that in several servers so you don't have that single point of failure anymore. Yeah. Very cool. Very cool. Well, it's a really cool option and a really cool you know, new product from VMware. Um, I'm excited to go home and try it for myself. Awesome. Uh, I appreciate your time, Ed. It's great Thank to you. meet you. Thanks, Thanks very much.